if you look at another tool to only have a JavaScript for. So the source code will be in the browser. We've got uh, Cloudworks will get the copilot to explain it quickly. So essentially when I put my hands uh, higher, the sound is louder. There's two separate, it's not mentioning it, why? Should have mentioned two separate scales, uh, musical scales. One is more annoying than the other. Yes, yeah, so this is confusing. Um, what is it? My right hand for a left hand. It's turning yellow like that. Yeah, some sort of detection error. So there's just not enough light in the room. It's meant to be left and left hand. They overlap as well. I think. Yes, C5. C5 is over there. So essentially. So we C4, C5, then you have A4, A5. The other thing, if you close your hand, let's try it with. If you close your hand, the notes will be shorter. If you open it, they should be longer, in theory. Yeah, it's the distance between the finger and the thumb. Yeah, it kind of works, could be more pronounced. Well, first, why is it so annoying? Second, what controls the speed? Is it the distance between the thumb and the finger? If so, the difference is not very pronounced. Should have been longer. Why is it generating so much stuff? Yeah, so X coordinates uh, triggering the scale. So that works. I was asking about what happens. Does not should be uh, longer with the hand open. Duration of not determined distance between the thumb and the index finger. It's normalized between a range of 0 and 1 multiplied by 8. Uh, okay, that 8. Don't like magic numbers. Normalized distance. How to make the normalized distance more sensitive? Yeah, it's that way. How to make the duration more sensitive to the normalized distance? Calculation in the current in the distance between the time index and normalized range 0 and 1. This means that the large change in distance will result in a relatively small change in normalized distance. Let us sense it. Activity factor <laughs> still <laughs> multiplied by eight. There's still a magic number. This is interesting. Just fix that quickly. We do want that code. I'm also curious if we already have the sensitivity factor variable. Why do we still need to multiply by eight? So this will be essentially multiplying by sixteen. Is it? doesn't look like there's much difference duration duration now should be longer then quickly do we need to restart this all right that's why the camera is blinking seems like it's going the other way so if it was 
to think we need this magic number, obviously. As opposed to the fuzzy logic stuff, this one just works. Okay, this is better. Yeah, and then we have the two scales, they overlap. Okay, this works. How about the two scales? Can we make them sound more musical? Can we play chords or something? Also, do the scales overlap? something with a mouth as well something else we can move I mean, we can dance to it the scale defines called c major for the left hand and a minor for the right hand a minor is a relative minor what a minor is a, it's the relative minor of c major meaning they share the same key signature however the scales are defined do overlap they include the notes c4 and c5 yeah both of them c5 no that one doesn't have c4 all right to make that sound more musical you could consider using different scale that do not overlap and that's what before you told me the the opposite this is using actual chords we define a set of chords for each hand to play here's an example of how i might do that tone chord function using this example does not exist in tone gs library and so it told me this would not work with it if it won't work so this chord would not work. Yeah. Let's play chords. Especially when moving the fingers or something. Could play one note. Four notes together or something. Can we check how many fingers are shown on camera? And based on the number of fingers to play a corresponding number of notes simultaneously. Also. How do we make sure the notes played simultaneously are matched as in chords? So we'll, obviously what's was provided before is not the complete function. No, this is the same stuff. GitHub Copilot is playing up. So what we want to do is generate uh, uh, multiple notes. Depending on how many fingers are shown. So for four fingers we'll play a chord of four notes. Hopefully of matched notes as well. So existing chords, not made up chords. So it's suggesting something suggested something over here, but obviously it would not do that. So we writing a prompt. Can we check how many fingers are shown on camera and based on the number of fingers? Play corresponding number of notes simultaneously. How to make sure the notes play simultaneously are match in chords. Let's try GPT quickly. Yeah, this is the whole code. I mean, that's what GitHub Copilot does anyway. Just sending the whole code on. So those will be all uh, short notes, open palm. Uh, level will be volume. That should be intuitive. So if you start from here. Open hand will play longer notes. And yeah, there's the scale. So 
so I don't know if you can train to be a conductor or something, if you like. Yes, you can check the number of fingers shown on camera and play corresponding musical notes simultaneously, essentially forming chords. To achieve this, you can use the landmarks provided by the media pipe hands model. Each hand is represented by 21 landmarks, with specific landmarks for each fingertip. By analyzing these landmarks, you can determine if a finger is extended or not. Detect extended fingers. You'll need to determine which fingers are extended. This typically involves comparing the positions of the fingertip landmarks to other landmarks on the same finger. For example, if the tip of the index finger is farther away from the base of the finger than a certain threshold, you can consider it extended. Chord mapping. Define mappings for the number of extended fingers to specific chords. For instance, if one finger is extended, you could play a C major chord, two fingers for D minor, and so on. Yeah, that's not what I meant, but... Simultaneous note playing. When you detect a specific number of extended fingers, trigger the corresponding chord. This involves playing multiple notes simultaneously. With tone, JS, you can use tone. Polysynth to play chords. GitHub, uh, GitHub Compile just told me that uh, tone.js doesn't, does not have an option to play chords. Let's go confront, <laughs> confront GitHub uh, Copilot. Just a pseudocode. I'm pretty sure that last response was not relevant, but the one it's detective it's doing false detection and so the hand the uh, hands of my on my on my head it's not cool like just because it's too dark in the room or something i extend the existing code to include the functionality for detecting extended fingers and playing chords this includes defining the get extended fingers function and integrating it with the unresolved function to play chords based on the number of extended fingers okay have to finish up might leave you with some <laughs> generated music here is the continuation of your existing JavaScript code. And landmarks, 8, represent the base, middle, and tip of the index finger, respectively. Function to play chords based on extended fingers function play chord, extended fingers. Const chords equals 1, C4, E4 feet, G4 feet, C major. 2, D4, F4 feet, A4 feet, D minor. Add more chords for different numbers of extended fingers. Yeah, so playing those, uh, are those legit chords? C major, D minor, should be. Modify the onResults function to include chord playing function on results, results. Existing code for processing hand results. It's the polysynth. Initialize polysynth for playing chords const polysynth equals new tone. Polysynth, tone, synth, the destination. Anyway, hopefully you will be able to play around with it soon on bodychaos.com. See you later. Bye.